and now it causes nephrotoxic and ototoxic a wonderful mnemonic you can remember and it is a very lipid soluble drug therefore parenteral administration is always required very fast acting very effective drug it is contraindicated in especially gentamicin is contraindicated in myasthenia gravis one of the most common side effect is hypomagnesemia gentamicin usually will give 2 mg per kg plus paradox okay now we will discuss about <coughs> See, there are two things other than bacteriostatic and bactericidal. There are other two things which are very important for the antibiotics: time-dependent drug and concentration-dependent drug. See, concentration-dependent drugs are only if you give in that particular concentration, that much bacteria will be killed. So that means you are going above the mean MIC. MIC is a minimal inhibitory concentration. so only if you give that much concentration so if you are not giving gentamicin in the correct dose you will not kill the bacteria so that is concentration dependent drug so that's why i told 2 mg per kg is the dose of gentamicin and you should not reduce the dose thinking about its toxicity so examples of concentration dependent drugs are mnemonic is aq a and q q pole sound in ella sana a is amphotericin b A is acetromycin, amino glycoside. 3A, Q is quinolones and ketolides. So AQ is the mnemonic to remember. Concentration dependent drug. A stands for amino glycosides, acetromycin, amphotericin B. Q is quinolones and Q is quinolones and ketolides. so this is concentration dependent drug now time dependent drug time dependent drugs are see if you are not giving see so that's why if you are a concentration de dependent drugs you can use single dose also see gentamicin if you are giving it a single dose also it will be effective but the problem why we are not giving because of its side effect acetromycin you know we will start with 1 g so that is a dose like then later on od od is a dose so that is concentration dependent if you give once also it is okay but time dependent drugs are regularly you have to give this drug time dependent drugs otherwise the bacteria will not die that is time dependent drugs time dependent drugs are penicillin cephalosporin macrolides clindamycin the so only acetromycin is concentrated dependent remaining all are time dependent clindamycin vancomycin linisolid all are time dependent drugs so you have to give at least twice thrice or qid so that is very important okay for time dependent and concentration dependent so question will be like this all of the following are concentration dependent drug except all of the following are time dependent drugs except so you can easily answer now because concentration dependent you need to have a mnemonic aq amino glycoside acetromycin and amphotericin b q is quinones and ketoloids remaining everything is time dependent drug do you uh, are there any doubt on till now anyone have doubt any doubt or you do you want to add anything? yeah what's the the second one after quinones that concentration dependent drug yeah ketoloids ketoloids oh uh, yeah ketoloids Okay, now we'll discuss about macrolides. Macrolides. There are four examples. Mnemonic is CARE. C A R E. No need of mnemonic. Easily only. Easily only. Clarithromycin, acetromycin, roxithromycin, and erythromycin. So remember, all are bacteriostatic drug, but in higher doses, it can it can act as a bactericidal. so erythromycin erythromycin is not used for neonates because it cause uh, that is one two or three side effects are there for erythromycin one is qt prolongation one it can cause porphyria and it is contraindicated in uh, neonates 
it can cause cholestatic jaundice that's why you are not using it in your nets so where it is used erythromycin mnemonic is pure diary white chocolate so p stands for pneumonia most of the pneumonia you can use erythromycin that is p diary d diphtheria white chocolate whooping cough you can use in the whooping cough and c stands for chancroid chancroid so pure diary white chocolate you can use uh, erythromycin pure diary white chocolate pneumonia diphtheria whooping cough and chancroid main problems are porphyria cutty prolongation and cholestatic jaundice so it is a wonderful drug alternative to penicillin you can use in stds syphilis tetanus diphtheria gonorrhea okay that is also another you can remember it's a wonderful alternative drug to penicillin uh, syphilis std is pneumonic syphilis tetanus diphtheria gonorrhea everywhere you can use so other than pure diary white chocolate you can remember std gonorrhea so syphilis tetanus diphtheria gonorrhea you can use all those things erythromycin are indicated dose is 500 mg qds is an oral drug erythromycin oh. okay drugs which act on gram negative only this is also very important question drugs which act only on gram negative mnemonic is ac ac a and c a is astrinom c is colistin colistin act only on gram negative it does not have gram positive coverage and ceftazidim ceftazidim is a third generation we already discussed ceftazidim what is ad advantage i told ceftazidim pseudomonas very good uh, very good very good it covers pseudomonas so gram negative coverage only gram negative coverage are three antibiotics astronom colistin and ceftazidim ceftazidim is a wonderful pseudomonas drug and okay gram positive drug gram positive drug are vancomycin ticoplanin Lini solid and daptomycin. Okay, only gram positive coverage for vancomycin, ticoplanin, lini solid, and daptomycin. now drugs which act uh, both gram positive and gram negative that is amoxiclav pitas imipenem meropenem ceftriaxone cefotaxime all those things act on both gram positive and gram negative amoxiclav pitas imipenem meropenem ceftriaxone ceftriaxone cefotaxime all those things are positive and negative and drugs are acting on anaerobic bacteria very important very very important you know one drug metronazole other than that the mnemonic is mcc moxifloxacin clindamycin second generation cephalosporin and carbapenems very important the drugs which act on anaerobic bacteria are one you know metronazole other than that mcc c moxifloxacin clindamycin cephalosporin second generation carbapenems and beta laxam if you use also it can it can have a coverage of anaerobic that's why for the severe tonsillitis severe uh, infection respiratory tract infection we will give amoxiclav it covers everything at the positive negative anaerobic or because beta lactam is has an effect on anaerobic bacteria also the drugs which are act on the aerobic bacteria there are many drugs but most important drugs are act act amino glycoside astrinom ciprofloxacin ceftriaxone 
to abramis amino like you said has to know ciprofloxacin ceftriaxone and cobramycin usually if the infection is above the diaphragm we will use clindamycin because metronazole does not have coverage on actinomyces and microaerophilic bacteria microaerophilic streptococcus it does not have coverage on uh, metronazole does not have coverage on actinomyces and microaerophilic streptococcus so if the uh, infection is below the diaphragm then metronazole will be used because clindamycin does not have coverage on bacterial fragilis so that is also another very important point about i from the middle as all other uh, drugs which we studied like clindamycin carbapenem has a coverage of every every anaerobic bacteria so you can use about i from the middle as there is nothing to worry but clindamycin and metronazole when you use about the diaphragm clindamycin that's why for the acne everything you use clindamycin below the diaphragm you have to use metronazole because clindamycin does not have coverage on bacteriots fragilis 